Hello, 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 hello. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I My mom bought me this beautiful dress when she was in Jamaica. And she also bought um, a little bit one too. So in the summertime, which is not summer here, it's just, it feels good. It's like, it's nice. And um, anyway, so she got this from Jamaica and I, this is just, I love it. I love my dress. I love it so much that I hope, you know how you wear it a lot that you hope you don't <laughs> ruin it. <laughs> anyway, hello, hello, hello. I want to say hello to all my new subscribers because it feels like I've gotten like this burst of sub subscribers all of a sudden and it's pretty cool because I lost a few because of my political views. I, I get it. I understand. Everybody don't want to hear that and I get it. But like I said before, it's just one of those topics that you can't run from because it affects us all. Although I can be very opinionated. <laughs> of course I can. Why would I be on here if I didn't? Okay, I don't want to hold the phone. So, and here, I'm just going to stand up. Sorry. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is a nice spot. I may do this spot again. It's just boring. Oh, my God. Anyway, moving on. Who cares? Megan and Harry. So, I just felt like, I said, well, today is going to probably be a quiet day. I probably won't say anything. And then I did do a video earlier. I felt like I went in too hard. I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm lecturing these two. And I'm like, Tisha, calm down. Like, stop being that invested. So, that's why I decided to do this video instead. And so, basically, I was just trying to figure out from all of you, honestly, my subscribers... Um, and this was great because I was just watching Sue Smith and she had some questions for her subscribers. She was like, listen, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I mean, it's so much going on in the news with these two. And it just seems ironic that they are just in the news so much during and around the coordination. It lets you know the destructive, just, it just lets you know that these two are menaces to their families, a thorn, a thorn, because they are actually having a conversation with the royal family through the media. They want us to know that they have given these demands to Charles. And why would she want us to know that she's given the king demands? And, and things that she wants as if this is all about her. Or, or is, is, and I think that's what pissed me off earlier was because I started to think like, are we serious? Even news people, journalists, is starting to be like cringeworthy because it doesn't add up. This doesn't add up that she is on the news over here. Prime time. Not YouTube, not me, what I'm going to say. She's on the news. And it's not in a good way. You know, I mean, I love, we come on here every day, you know, and we educate and say. And then next thing you know, you hear headlines. <laughs> Princess and Prince. And then, oh, they wasn't invited. And now, oh, they still want an apology and they haven't responded to the king yet. And da 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 da. And how do we know this? Because Megan them want us to know. They're only going to let us know what they want us to know. Because if she didn't, she would be talking her truth. Because that's what she's about. She's not going to let anything slip unless it's in her favor. But. For the life of me, who told her that anything that she says right now is in her favor? Because to my understanding, and I know that if I if correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> that all of us is kind of really and, and I'm not joking about this, really are are trying to figure out, okay, what is going on with the coronation? Like 
you know, who's going to be singing. And I can't, I'm going to say this and I could be wrong or whatever, but I'm disappointed in every one of those acts that didn't drop what they were doing and go and, and do something historic. Like sing at a king's court nation. Adele. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, like, what is it? <laughs> I would have let it be known. Listen, I'm going to be here. And I told them three years ago. So I'm not going to be able to make it. But all that. Mm -mm. <laughs> if anything, Charles should be getting phone calls from people. Saying, hey, sir. You know, if nothing else, look, look what his daughter-in-law is doing to him. <laughs> no, I just would have done it. If it was me, you know, I just just me, I would have done it. No money, I'm coming. You need me? Because it's just not about Charles. This is about the country. This is about British people. It's not even really about Charles per se. It's about the people. Because they need to support their king. And that's why I said, okay, back up off the title, Tisha. You know, he does not need non-support, especially from home chick. <laughs> Meaning his daughter-in-law. And I'm like, okay, let's, like Angela Living said, they won that one. And that's it. But now it's time to celebrate. It is time for everybody to get excited. And I know I can feel the excitement in the air. You can hear it from Kinsley and, and everybody is getting ready. And guess who's acting a fool? <laughs> Our favorite girl of the day. Megan and her Looney Tune husband. And let me tell you what the journalist said today that I thought was very embarrassing. And I have been saying it. That, hey man, somebody needs to let Harry know that he doesn't look sexy at all or anything remotely like a gentleman or a man to let this woman treat and do this to him and his family. <laughs> I don't care what eye opener she gave you, Harry, when you, oh, you realize, what did you realize? You was a spare? You needed her to tell you that? And then you start comparing your life to Will and saying, yeah, why well, ain't getting that, daddy? <laughs> Megan convinced you that since you was the youngest, you should be getting more, obviously, because you guys are over there with a pen with y'all five options again. These are, these are the options. This is the same thing they did to the, when the queen was alive. And they came with that five plan option that they were going to give to her. That they gave to them. And, and William said, get the hell out of my office. We're not doing none of this. You're not getting security. You're not getting this stuff. You are not getting this. <laughs> and then I just hear, and I was joking about this. I said, the next thing you know, Megan is going to want security for her kids. And lo and behold, on, the t on one of the shows today, they said she is trying to figure out how to get them to pay for security for the kids. This girl is something. But they threw her to the wolves. Why is she asking for things and wanting things? Knowing what the plan was when they walked out the door, meaning that if you leave, you don't get security and then we keep stop paying your salary, honey, because guess what? You're not working. <laughs> and so therefore we cannot take care of you guys anymore because the taxpayers are not. And so that's when they thought that they were thrown to the wolves evidently. And, shh, and so now, all of a sudden that the ki the kids has been crowned. Megan has let it be known that they need security. <laughs> Why are you telling the king that? Why are you telling them that? As if that has become their problem, their issue, <laughs> their concern. Because 
everything that we're hearing, Megan wants us to hear. Trust. <laughs> Obi Scobby ain't telling us this for nothing. And people didn't come out with princess and prince for, for nothing. This is some real crap that she's doing right around coordination time. That's why people don't like you, Megan. <laughs> because of this shenanigan stuff. Even Courtney Cox. Was it Courtney Cox? I hope I ain't saying the wrong people's name. Bethany, Megan Kelly. Not just Megan Kelly, but um, Megan McCain came out and said something against Harry in that trying to <laughs> diss our First Amendment, our Constitution stuff. Look. I mean, you can't silence us because your wife can't sleep at night. Because she doing this trickery stuff and she wants to, to keep black doing this behind the scenes without us letting everybody know that she's a fraud. We don't have to no more. Don't nobody need me. <laughs> they don't need nobody. They don't need no one. They have told people who they are for themselves. Chris Rock came up with that joke on his own, Megan, because he sees it. <laughs> but what's unfortunate is that he, did, did he know that you were going to be getting titles? <laughs> he didn't have to because guess what? He just threw it on in there. He pretty much called you a spoiled brat. And that... If if you aren't happy that you got the lottery, because that's what you did. You got the light-skinned lottery. Did you marry the prince? And then you treated it like it, like just, like it was just like you were entitled, not just entitled to it. Almost as if, like, you were destined to do this. And then, you guys remember that part in the docuseries where Harry starts pumping her up talking about her resume and how wonderful she is and what she would have been able to do and bring to the monarchy, all this stuff. <laughs> Remember that? Like, like she was going to be like the savior, the black savior. I mean, come on. <laughs> and that's all I, was like. I said, honey, let's watch this part. And then I said, look at Harry pump his wife up to put her over just, Say stupid stuff. Like, no, she's got this. She's 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 top of her line and this. She's got her education. She's a humanitarian. She would have changed the Commonwealth. She would have did all this stuff. No, she wasn't. No. No. Because if she would have, she would have. But she wasn't gonna. <laughs> you don't start one year into it and then the queen finds out a year later you don't want to be royal anymore <laughs> that ain't how it works and then she leave they leave with five options don't forget about that and you can't tell me that blackmailing haven't been coming across this stage here they they've been blackmailing and making money all at the same time that's what's been happening. And so I don't know what's going on right now, right? I don't know. I don't know who is advising these two. But this is the kicker. They didn't want any of this stuff from this family, this racist family. They were telling their story. And their story didn't involve them. They cut them off. When I read Spare, I didn't think that Harry would have a home. <laughs> but, okay, he do. But he's still, still, still saying stupid stuff. Like, that's his kid's birthright. Birthright? <laughs> Look how they decide that what, what, when they want stuff, when it suits them. The title suits them. This is what they need. They want it. They grab it onto it. They were never going to let it go. Megan wouldn't even let the king put it on the website. 
she took it upon herself to say, boom, they are going to be this. And now she realized that, uh-oh, she want us to know that they need the HRHs so that they can get security. No, they can get security from you two right now. Put that thing, that $14 billion home up for sale like Sue Sue. Sue believes, Sue is telling us that their money is funny. And so, if that is the case, pack up a little bit, stem bag, because that's what I would do. And I would start downsizing. Or what? You're just going to keep coming out with more and more and more and more? You don't want to be on an island. Because people don't even want you in the United States. I ain't ready to kick you out. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm still have hope. But, ooh, you don't, you don't want to be exiled. That is just, ew. That's what I'm hearing. Like, they, they don't want Harry here anymore. Like, that is, like, not good. Montecito, I heard it. That Montecito didn't want you here anymore. And I also heard something else, and I'm sorry I'm switching the subject and probably need to. Because, you know, hopefully this video make it. <laughs> But I was on Sue Station, which ooh, is so good. She was saying how, um, remember when Tyler Perry kind of dissed the queen? Dissed, dissed. Was like, if I got to go over there, um, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going. And I, I said it in my videos a long time ago. Like, what, what, what did she do to you? <laughs> What did she do to you? And what did she do to your girl, the, the one that you christening and all of that? Listen, I get it. I get that you want to support her and be on her side. And then I heard something about she's going to be a part of his production. Mm -mm. <laughs> I just would just, if you if it's about money, then don't. But if it is about money, if it does, if, if you don't mind it being about a financial thing and her being in it, then by all means, I would say go for it. But anything that Megan touches, nobody's watching. I, I'm not. I'm. <laughs> I wasn't watching that fake therapy session. No, and I'm not buying any more of that crapola. That spare book that's still being washed off. Oh, like, just ill. You know what? It came up on my paper page. And I was just like, why is this keep popping up? And so, I finally just deleted it. So, the book doesn't even exist in my library anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. I don't want to support anything that they do. Nothing. I'm not going to do. I'm not buying that book, bench. I was a long time ago. Long time ago. Mm -mm. No, she's not a role model to my daughter. She's not a princess. Kate's a princess. Megan's a fake Montecito wannabe celebrity slash royal. All I I think she still wants to be a royal. Don't you guys think? Because now she wants the titles and then, you know, she wants her kids to have security. Is she reading the laws or something? Is the law saying all this that she can do? Like, God, is this, is this, and then she's talking about it right now. Like, it's urgent. Oh, you know what? Maybe they do need extra security because they've been talking too much. You know, you got the Taliban after um, Harry. Maybe they do. But I don't know because Sue said that, oh, um, Tyler Perry just gives them their jet anytime they get ready to get in a plane to go. <laughs> mm. So I guess that's their new best friend. Listen, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much. This was just like a chit chat. Me going over like what this person is doing and done recently. And did I tell you what the journalist said? The journalist said, I think I didn't tell you about what the journalist said about um, Harry. Because he was like, oh, how the Marcos doing? Marcos doing? 
and um, the the guy Pierce Morgan, I think it was Pierce Morgan. Yeah, he said he did, he didn't get it, and the guy said, "Well, you know." He was saying like she's she's in control over there. So I might he said that. He said she's the one that's um in control. So um that's why I asked. I didn't call him the Duchess because you know she's she's got control. That's what the journalist said. Dissed, straight dissed her pr during the day. <laughs> oh, they this is not this. You know what? My husband, you know, he minds, he just does his thing. And then every now and then, something to pop on his screen, like Andrew's popularity continues to increase as Megan's them starts to decrease, decrease, decrease. Like that is. And here's the thing. They're on a... They're not. They're relentless. Harry and Megan are relentless. He just did the therapy session. We just found out about the um <laughs> the titles. That she didn't want that they, they weren't gonna give it to her. She was crying on Oprah Oprah. They weren't gonna give they're not gonna give me the titles for the kids. I knew when she was in Africa lying on the media that she was coming for the royal family. I said, this was going to end badly. But I never saw it coming. Even now with this, I want to rear tiara and I want to be on the balcony and I want my kids to be in this location. And I and I want in a public an apology and I want all this stuff to help you with your popularity over here. Now you need them to do it. Mm-mm. The only thing that you guys can do is shut up. <laughs> I mean, just shh. Go over there. Sit on the 10th row. Go and support because that's what you need to do. Sit in the back and just pretend. And for once, for once, don't make it about you. Just this one time. And just maybe your popularity might be coming. I doubt that. <laughs> it's going to take a lot more than that. But at least, you know, because at the funeral, I was giving her a moment. I said, okay. And then the left eye thing came. I said, oh, my God. Is this for real? <laughs> she said, Megan, left eye, right, left eye, let's go. I said, what? <laughs> if she hadn't have cried out of that left eye during the funeral, I wouldn't even brought that subject up because that's to me little stuff compared to, you know, but it's just a part of the craziness. <laughs> like the curtsy. I, when I first saw that curtsy, I said, this thing is disrespecting the queen. I said, and look at Harry. That was the shocker to see the look on his face that he was giving her permission. That's what I saw. He wasn't ashamed. He went right along with it. And that's what the, was the shocking part to me. Not Megan's personality. Because her personality is I'm better than you and this is so beneath me. She thought the curtsy and all of that was like, oh, this is nothing. Like, she thought she was better than them because that's how she treats them. And she hates Kate. Oh, my God. Poor Kate. She's so jealous of you, Kate. You know what? They, they said somebody said that I was jealous of her. No. Mm -mm. Probably when I liked her. Probably when I was really liking her. <laughs> When I watched the wedding and all of that, I was like, wow, look at this. I said, she got to be nervous and all this other stuff. And, mm -mm. No, ain't not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want her life because I don't want Harry because he doesn't have any balls. And 
You know, I don't know. Because one of my subscribers' name is Harry's Balls. <laughs> so, I'm like, I just had to mention him. He's such a loyal subscriber. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. Oh, God. I'm going to do a live session. I wouldn't know what I was doing. I think I would get really nervous. Um, I have no idea what I would be doing. But I would love to, like, you know, have a chat and call someone's name and say, oh, guess what so-and-so said. And, and then I can respond to it. You know? I think I would have a lot to say, especially because you guys give me so much Especially one of my subscribers. She's awesome too. But she doesn't like when I go in on Trump and them. Ooh. So I don't do that many of those. And I, you know what? I'm not changing my channel. But I was thinking about. Because this. Like I'm. I don't know how much more. <laughs> but. My thought is. Is that. You know. Eventually. I probably. End my channel at some point. And, you know, start back work and all of that and stuff and trying to um, keep up with Kara because she's going to be in all these activities and stuff and I probably won't be keeping up with Megan anymore. I'll hear about what's going on and I'll be like, okay, she's still acting a fool. And then I'll, you know, respond and stuff. But it, I, we got a while for that. Not too much longer, but... A couple. And maybe things have been then died down by then. And you guys probably not going to care what, <laughs> what I say. But listen, love you guys. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.